Arctic Fox. Perfect. Yeah. Yellow Wolf. I'm going to get him or going to prison. Whoa. Dangerous mind of a 22 year old me. Damn, what a shame. What I didn't know the pizza man. I just took it for the cheese and the bread for the culinary game. Perfect. Here we are at Papa T's house, and as you can see, we are already getting started on the car. At the moment, Papa T is in there working on a low spot. The car was uh, hit or rubbed up against something and put a crease right down the fender of the car. So anyway, he's working on that now, getting the paint off of it so that we can put a little skim coat of Mondo. And uh, nothing really to talk about at the moment, but as you can see, we are getting started, and I'll get back to you in a few. All right, so uh, I want to talk to you guys about the trim on how to get it off. Uh, as you can see, I've already removed this. I do want to talk about how to remove this piece because a lot of guys break this whenever you're trying to remove it. You can see you have two little plastic tabs and they're bad about breaking. So what we're going to do is go through this real quick on how to remove it. Really the best way to do it is get in here with this hook and pull on the tab and hopefully this will release. Oh, and it broke. Oh yeah. That was totally my fault. As you can see, I had the tool sitting on top of the clip. That's why I would not release, so I ended up breaking it. I could not see it from the angle that I was at. Anyway, guys, uh, whenever you're doing this, just make sure that the tool is off to the side of the clip and it should come out no problem. Let's get back to the video. So let's move down here to this one and see if we can not break it. There we go. What you're gonna do is slide it in and pull until you feel the clip. And then you're gonna wanna pull out on the clip and you can see it releases. I'll show you in a minute exactly what it is that it's doing. And just work your way down, slide. Okay, so that's that. And how these clips work, I'll show you right here on this clip, is what, you, what you're going to do is you're going to come in with this tool and you rotate it. And as you can see, it releases it from the body right there. And that's how you're going to remove these. Don't stick a screwdriver in here and think that that's going to work. You have to have something like this, or you're going to bend your trim up or possibly break the glass. Look, you just got to tell me to do shit. <laughs> I don't like Andrew. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's cold blooded. Then why is it always got to be me? I can't wait till somebody younger than me comes around. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Pay it forward, buddy. Yeah. All right, guys, we got the quarter windows out. Um, got all the doors pretty much blown apart. Uh, this is about as far as we're gonna go with the car as far as taking it all apart. We're gonna take the wheels and tires off of it, put it on jack stands, and uh, that's about it. There's obviously some more sanding to be done. We gotta feather all this in up here. Never got around to that last night. Gotta finish sanding the outside of the car. Papa T is up here working on the front fender, trying to smooth all of that out. John scraping all the gunk off the windows and everything up there. You want to try to get all of that stuff off if you can around your trim because any loose debris, dirt, grease, whatever, is going to obviously show up. It could either blow over into your paint or it could smear over into the top of the car where we're going to be painting at. So John's taking care of that. Actually, this is not the first time that me and John have painted together. We actually used to paint together years ago. So uh, this is pretty cool to get back with him and you know kind of paint something. This is this is cool. This is what it's all about, friends and family. Uh, as you can see, we always try to include friends and family when we can. You know, John's over. We've not got to do a whole lot since the 1K Fox, so it's pretty nice that he's over now helping out. It's just good times. You know, you got to enjoy this because these are memories that you're making right now. You can always look back on in years to come. So, well, all right, guys, we're gonna jump back on this thing. There's not a lot really to show you. And uh, as soon as we get to a point where we're, you know, something interesting is happening, we'll go ahead and pick the video back up. This is kind of the final wipe down, if you will. Uh, we're bringing the car outside to blow it off. We're gonna wipe it all off. And the next step will be cleaning out the shop, getting this thing in there, and hopefully laying down some paint. As you can see, just like little rock chips and stuff. So there's a very uh, light skim coat of Bondo there. Little ding up here that we had to work out, right here, here, obviously up through here. 
Um, up on the bumper, we had a lot of chips. You can see the chips. The chips are gonna show up as a brighter spot right here. So all these little chips uh, we filled in. Everything's nice and smooth. Little spot up here on the roof. Nothing really on the doors to speak of. And one little spot back here. So overall, this thing was pretty straight. But we did have a lot of clear coat that was chipping off back here. So we spent hella time back here really just smoothing out all this, blending in this uh, this clear coat that was peeling off. So it's taken us about four hours to get to this point. Um, car's blown apart as far as we're gonna take it. Basically, we're just gonna roll this thing in, get it on jack stand, take the wheels and tires off of it, get it wiped down and start priming. So I don't think that we're gonna prime the entire car because that's really just gonna create more work for us. And what we're using is a 2K primer, so when it dries, it's pretty hard. So it makes it kind of hard to sand. It just doesn't dust off. So more than likely, we're just going to do the, uh, the spots that we put some Bondo or some filler at and the bare spots. We'll see, though. We may end up priming the whole car, and we may seal some spots on it, too. It all just depends on how it looks once we get in here. There's not much else to show you until we get in here and we get this thing ready for paint. It is currently about 7 o'clock. 7:30, something like that anyway it's just starting to get dark outside so uh it's been a long day and uh we are about to do the final wipe down of the car so we're gonna wipe this thing down with some wax and grease remover and hope for the best um there's still maybe a couple little spots here or there that we could you know continue to just go on and on with but at some point you got to call it good as you can see this back bumper it required a lot of work you know all this is just us trying to feather this out I think everything's gonna gonna turn out pretty good. And remember guys, we're not doing a professional, you know, show quality paint job. That's not what we're intending to do. I mean, we could do that, but it would take us forever to really just massage this car out, every little detail. We're wanting to spray this car and basically in one day and tomorrow start putting parts on it and drive it home. So far, so good guys. Well, all right, we'll see you in a few once we start laying some paint. Here we are, we are about to lay some base. I think Papa T is gonna lay the, the base and the clear coat tonight for us. He's a little more proficient at it and uh, the reward of working on these cars is really being able to spray it. I mean, that's the fun part. That's what you wanna be able to do. We may interject here or there, but uh, depends on how he feels. Andrew's excited, this is his first car. Like, Nervous. Yeah, first car getting painted, so he's excited about it. Overall, I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. We've got a couple little issues here or there that that we found like late in the game. And honestly, at this point, we just, you gotta know when to say stop, when it's enough. John helped us out. My brother, my brother Fulton, you know, helped us out. So we appreciate that, John. Oh, and in case you guys didn't know, John is the guy that owns the 1K Fox. So uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit of an update on that car. He's got some things coming for that here pretty soon. So far, so good, guys. You know, it seems like just yesterday we were in here painting my car. These are good times, guys, I'm telling you. Who doesn't like spending time with your family and sharing a, a common passion? Once again, thank you, Papa T, for helping Andrew out like this. I'm sure it's gonna turn out great. He's laying the first little bit of clear here, so cross your fingers, guys. White is so hard to clear coat. Um, what he's doing right now is he's going in and he's cutting in all the corners. So like, you know, around all the trim, uh, around the fender wells and stuff like that. You just want to make sure that you got clear in there. And white is so hard to spray and clear coat because you really can't see where you've been that on the first pass like this, that's what he's trying to do. Just go in and make sure he's got all the corners done. And then that way on the second coat, he can really lay it to it. And he knows he's got clear coat in it. So. All right, guys, uh, there's not much to see. Like I said, when you're spraying clear coat on, on white, you really can't see it. It's hard to explain. So there's not gonna be like some major transformation like if it was black uh, and you put your clear coat on it and it just pops. 
it's not really going to be a big difference. So uh, anyway, I'll probably uh, hit you guys up whenever he gets a little closer. All right, guys, we are done. Well, almost done anyway. Um, it is the next day. Sorry, I didn't get you any footage of the car like after we cleared it and whatnot. It was just a long night. We had a few issues, so we had to address that. So like I said, it's the next day and we are back with the car. It's looking pretty good. There are a few issues that we're gonna have to address. It happens. So uh, there's a couple runs and stuff like that that we're gonna have to sand out. But overall, this thing looks really, really good. And once we're done wet sanding and buffing, this thing's gonna be all right. We're gonna go ahead and roll the car out. It doesn't have all the trim on it. Doesn't even have the quarter windows in it yet. Uh, like I said, we still have to buff this thing out. But uh, overall, I think it turned out really good. All right, guys, here we go. No. And through war, I can fill up a void. My soul is implored, I'm feeling it, Lord. Through the will of my pen, to the end of my force, I carry the sword. So what do you guys think? How do you like the white? She's gonna look really good once we get all the trim back on it and everything painted black. And yes, these lights are coming out. We're putting the three piece in or the six piece, whichever you wanna call it. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap this video up. Uh, next time you see the car, hopefully we'll be putting some stuff on it. Uh, like I said, we have to do some blocking out. We got to do some wet sanding, stuff like that. So uh, hopefully you guys will get to see some of it. You probably won't get to see all of it because we are strapped for time. As you guys know, we have to get my car ready for Ford Takeover and Andrew's car. So we got a lot of work, guys. But this is it, the Arctic Fox. And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah.